This video is sponsored by Sakurako and Tokyo Treat. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Madison and Christian here. Today we're watching another episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. Now this is episode 13 of a 24 episode season. So we're officially starting the second half of the season and we've really enjoyed it so far, um, especially the last episode. We thought we were getting a Junpei Yuji fight for the whole episode, which we did get some of, but Yuji was actually able to kind of talk him off the ledge and calm him down. Um, and it actually ended up being more of a Yuji Mahito fight for the majority of the episode. And it was cool to see Yuji actually was able to injure Mahito, like strike his soul, he said. Um, so we're definitely gonna keep an eye on that now that Nanami has showed up. And now we're kind of in a 2v1 situation, you know? So I'm sure we're gonna have a ton more to talk about after the episode, but before we get into it, we wanted to give you all a quick word from our sponsors, Tokyo Tree and Sakurako. Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. are two snack subscription boxes that both aim to share Japanese culture with the world through the medium of snacking. With Tokyo Treat, you'll receive up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available for a short time in Japan. With items like Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Sake Kit Kats, and Pocky Cherry, there is bound to be exciting flavors you've never tried before. Now, if you're looking for something more traditional, Sakura Ko is a wonderful way to experience the culture of Japan through snacks and fine teas. You will receive 20 traditional and authentic artisan Japanese snack items. Sakura Ko partners with local snack makers to share Japanese cultures and traditions that have been passed down for over 100 years. You'll also get wonderful tea pairings and a beautiful Japanese tableware piece with every box each month. Both Sakura Ko and Tokyo Treat make it easy to get amazing and exclusive treats delivered right to your door. Both boxes provide a booklet with everything you need to know about each snack so you never miss a beat. It includes where it comes from, what's in it, and which tea pairs best. Each box has a different theme every month so you never know what to expect. Now this month, both boxes are inspired by summer, so you'll see amazing flavors like watermelon ramune, banana castella, and strawberry cream soda. Sakurako is also partnering with the Ogimi villages in Okinawa. The villagers there have the highest life expectancy in the world and ingredients from their very villages are featured in this month's box, including snacks like the Shikawasa Manju and the Okinawa Cinnamon Cookies. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, it's super easy to order. Just click the link below to the plan that's right for you and enter our code MAC for $5 off your first Tokyo Treat or Sakurako box. Again, Use code MAC for $5 off your first purchase. There's no better way to kick off summer than with a box from Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat. They're the perfect addition to any date night or anime watch party. You can gift it to a friend who loves to travel or you can just gift it to yourself. No matter what the occasion is, Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. are sure to deliver unique and fun snacks right to your door. If you do end up purchasing a box, don't forget to share a photo of yourself with your box on Instagram for exclusive prizes each month. This month, you could win a limited edition Kuromi blanket or a summer fireworks glass set. So don't forget to tag We Are Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat for your chance to win. We want to give a big thank you to Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat for sponsoring this video. And we want to give a big thank you to all of you guys for coming and hanging out with us. So that being said, I think we're ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, he can cut off his limbs. Yeah. Dang, he's just got holes in his I was going to say, hand. he's still full of holes. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. What? Oh. He can keep his focus on Nanami and have the hand watching Yuji. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh my god! Me, kinda reminds me of Carnage. Oh my god, yeah. Oh what? shit! What? Turned into a spiky ball. And sea urchin! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, ah, that one didn't work. Yeah. He's just playing around yeah, with his he's, abilities, he's right? Experimenting. Oh shit. What? He's little? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. He noticed. So you can tell when he's about to do something. 
当に天敵だなちょっとおとなしくしてもらおうかおおいけてみんさいでへん Are those the ones we saw in the Juju Scroll? Right? I think so. Whoa! Oh, shit! Nanami, back up! Back up! Ooh, cut behind him. Oh no! <laughs> I think it is the ones from the Juju Stroll. <laughs> it is, and they sound like him too. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't want to hurt them. They're people. Oh my god, I don't think they're humans anymore. Ugh. Oh. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god, Mahito's scary. Yeah. Oh, he didn't have enough time. Mm -mm. Oh, they're gonna piece his ass up. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh, I wonder if anybody's gonna save him. Oh, maybe, yeah. His boys. Yeah. Damn, they're fucking him up. Oh, let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy shit. Damn. Yeah. Maybe. Are they gonna kill him? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Do what now? Oh shit. What is he doing? Oh, no! That's from the opening. That's from the run, anime opening. Run. Oh! Whoa, that, is that is wild. That is trippy as fuck. This is his expansion? Whoa. It's kind of disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> is this the first time he had to wow. do that in a fight? Yeah, I think he just he just said, I think I can do it now. Oh, because he's practiced enough with his abilities he can. I think so. Wow. <laughs> oh. He didn't get in. He only took Nanami. Because he knows he can kill Nanami? Maybe he wants Sukuna out? Mm. He wants him to bring him out to save Nanami? Oh, he can't what? do his own. Dead? Yeah. What? He's fucked. What? Nanami flashback? Oh, that's worrying. Right? Oh! That's what it means to be an adult. Where they don't sell your favorite shit anymore, remember? Oh, yeah! Oh. She doesn't know that there's a curse on her. Oh my god, that's wild. Oh, of course. What is this, Wolf of Wall Street? Right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's like, this place sucks. Yeah. See, he's just like going through the motions. Yeah. Damn, it sounds like you don't like it. Yeah. わかっちゃいました。最近なんか肩が重いというか眠りも浅いし。ああ。is he going to exercise it for her? 
He's saying her job is kind of more important than his. Like, no one would care if he was gone. <laughs> she said, What the fuck are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> You're a wizard. Right? You're a wizard. <laughs> you just fixed my shoulder? Aww. She's like, say you're welcome. And that you're gonna come back. Dang. Oh, he called Gojo? I thought it was the other way around. So he chose to go back. Yeah. He said, why are you laughing? <laughs> He's like, I knew you were going to come back. Oh, He's like, oh I have God. hers. Is he going to die right now? What? 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 No way. He fucking broke He in? broke through. That's, that's impossible, right? I thought right? that was, yeah, not possible. What? Maybe because he can hit his soul? Oh, I guess so. Yeah. He's a menace. <laughs> oh. oh. Not keeping something out. Okay. Oh. So usually there's no reason to break in. Yeah. But Yuji doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> what? What? Aside from him, he's still a stand for Fushiguro. I mean, we all are. Damn, bro, what? Oh, bro, I hope your friends are coming. Yeah, his boys are gonna save him or something. Oh my God, Yuji's crazy. Oh, wow. They didn't see what Sukuna did? Oh. Oh, he's just going straight in. What? Oh, my God. What? They turned into a kaiju? Oh, gross. Oh my god. god! He's huge! Whoa! Oh, the animation! Whoa! It's like watercolor. That was so cool. Oh my god! <laughs> He's gonna pop! Damn! He like did a, pop like a balloon! Like a balloon! Oh, it wasn't oh. him? It was fake. Oh, son of a bitch. What a coward. Right? Oh. Shit. What's wrong with you? He's weakened. Oh no. Oh god. I think you need to heal, dog. They need to retreat too now. Bro, Mahito is not. Fun to fight. Oh, he got really hurt. <laughs> that other guy's still down there in the sewers. Maybe he can find him. Mm. <laughs> he wants oh, to kill him. I bet he does. 
命を助けてもらった相手に説教もくすもないで。Wow! No lecture this time? 式は他人の魂に干渉する。君が領域に侵入したことで、少なの魂に触れてしまう。Oh! Wow! 少なが出たのではなく、やつが入ったのです。さあ、助けたのは俺じゃない。こいつの気なの。But you broke in. Yeah, you, you broke in. You let it happen. I'm not going to be a man. 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 Oh. Oh, she liked Junpei? Or something? Or maybe, but I think she saw what happened? Because the paper said something, a、uh, way to stop bullying. Oh, wow. Wow. This guy's real for saying that. I guess he was kind of a dumbass for not realizing what was happening. No,、like、I agree. He's yeah. He's a teacher, you know? Yeah. Dang, I don't know how they're going to kill Sukuna. He seems too powerful. Okay, what are we doing about Junpei though? I know. We never cut back to him. Yeah, he was just on the ground like a Pokemon still. Oh my god. Tuna. <laughs> oh, I love this pot. This is what they've been up to. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> It's a recipe. I wish I knew Japanese. Or are they not telling us the ingredients? Oh. Okay. We'll have to make those. <laughs> oh, Yuji t a u g h t him. Everybody got all quiet. <laughs> They still think he's dead. Aww. Oh, they're eating it too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even for Shiguro can do it. <laughs> Aww. That's funny. Hopefully, we get him in next episode. Looking oh, no, away, don't look, don't look, looking away, look, looking look, away, look, looking look, away. Look, ah! I've already seen too much. <laughs> I didn't look at anything. Well, yeah, I think it looks like we're finally gonna get that like competition thing that they've all been training for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then so we'll finally get to see Nobara and Fushiguro again. Which, to be honest, I still don't fully understand the rules of that competition that they're going to because I remember them saying something like the headmasters or whatever. That, like, the principals can choose what the competition is. Like, they choose the rules and stuff. So, I'm not 100% sure. Like, is it a fighting? Is it just for fun? Competition? Like, is it like 1v1s, like a tournament?、Mm. Or are they gonna have to, like, play games or something, you know? Yeah. Are they being, like, graded on this? Is it, like, a training thing? It's, it's a fighting anime. So, I, like. I'm assuming we're gonna get some 1v1s. Some 1v1s. Some, yeah. But at the same time, I don't know. Sometimes this anime kind of、um, diverts your expectations a little bit. So, I, I don't know if it's gonna be something as simple as just 1v1s, you know? Yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be some hitch to it, right? Because, I mean, they are jujitsu sorcerers. So, yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be a little twist to it. But, yeah, maybe we'll finally get that. I'm kinda hyped. Well, this episode was pretty great. I am glad that, like, 
pretty much the whole episode or like for the majority of it was the fight between the characters because there was that one episode where we thought oh we're gonna get a fight between Nanami and Mahito in oh, this yeah. one and it literally was like the just the first 30 seconds and then the rest of the episode he was like I'm done with overtime yeah it wasn't a fight at all so yeah. I'm glad to see that like we expected a fight in this one and, and we got one and we got a badass one dude that was a crazy fight I was just so impressed with how everything went but also because like really I mean there was that point when they were just piecing him up and I was like okay we're doing it we're gonna take him down and then yeah, he lit off the domain expansion and I was very worried for Nanami at that point because we started to get some backstory on him and I was like, oh my gosh. It looked like he was setting up for him to die. Yeah, yeah and I guess when I had originally saw the domain expansion like from uh, Gojo, I was like, dang, that's, that's a really cool ability and I'm assuming no one can get in. But dang, Yuji broke into that. So that was pretty cool. We did get a little explanation on it too. So like... It's a trump card and it'll make that last move hit, but it doesn't defend against outside invaders that Yeah, well. he said it like- It's meant to capture one person it, yeah, inside. Yeah, it's meant to get, keep someone inside. Right. So people can actually break into it. We just hadn't seen that yet. Yeah, and that was really cool to see that. I mean, I thought, I mean, he was hitting on the outside. So I was like, oh, maybe he'll do some damage, but I thought maybe he'd go get somebody. I wasn't actually, Expecting him to break in. I actually didn't think he was gonna break in. I thought Nanami was done. Oh my god. <laughs> so that was really surprising to see. And then yeah, when he got inside, it seemed like because he was in the domain. He was touching Sukuna. Sukuna. And Sukuna was like, don't touch me again. Yeah, I already told you once, like this wasn't gonna happen again. So yeah, he fucked him up. So I guess maybe Mahito would have still won if if Sukuna didn't come out. Like even even Yuji breaking in, like they still might have lost. Oh yeah, I think that too. But I think it was just Sukuna getting mad about that that had him win the fight. And I think Yuji thought that too, because he was like, oh, I didn't save you then. It was really Sukuna. So that was really crazy to see. And just to see again, how powerful Sukuna was. That was crazy. Now I'm still not sure what kind of happened with Junpei in this episode. I thought yeah. maybe they would talk about him or like pick him up and take him to Jujutsu Tech and maybe figure out how to bring him back or something. Yeah. It seems like his classmates think that he up and moved, right? Oh, yeah. Didn't seem that way. Mm -hmm. And it also kind of seemed like they all remember, or th that main dude definitely remembers what happened. You would yeah. think you'd have some questions. Like how, how is he force choking me in the air? And why did my arm do all that? Like, I guess I don't understand how much the public knows about like Jujutsu Sorcerers and stuff like that. Oh. Cause you would think they'd all have like a ton of questions after that situation, after that right. event. Right. Do you think that they couldn't see the jellyfish? That's what I'm saying. I don't think they could see the jellyfish. Oh wow. But, so they just think he poisoned him or but something. But he was holding him in the air, you know? Oh He yeah. wasn't touching him. That's right. But I, I think all the other students or classmates or whatever, they were all like passed out at that time. Oh, so maybe he, they just don't remember. They didn't see it. He poisoned him. He maybe like put him to sleep, like knocked him out. Yeah. Oh, man. So, and I think the teacher remembers because he was conscious still when they got there, right? Wasn't yes. he? Yes. Yes, he was. When Junpei got there, mm -hmm. he, he spoke to him. So I guess maybe those two dudes are the only ones that really remember what happened. And like the rest of the classmates just think he moved away. Damn, but that's crazy. Like, I didn't think about that they can't see the jellyfish. Like they can't see I his don't powers. Think so. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, if I was a regular person, you know, I'd have a lot of questions as to like how he all of a sudden can like force choke somebody. But I guess you're right. If there's only two people that know, you know. Now I do have to be honest. Um, when I kind of saw towards the end of the fight that it, it seems like Mojito was against the ropes and like maybe they actually were going to kill him. Maybe I thought for sure the other curses were like close by watch, what I thought too. watching or something because he used a finger a sukuna finger to get this plan going into motion right you would think like they would not want it to fail so they would show up too so i was kind of surprised to see that they kind of really let him do whatever he wanted and he was kind of on his own and they thought yeah he would just come out unscathed i do remember ghetto like being there on the building with mojito right before because remember he put the expansion over the school 
while now, Junpei was in there. Now, I think Ghetto, he's mentioned before, like, I can't show my face around the Jujutsu right. Sorcerers. I think he must have done something and, like, they, they watch out for him. So he dipped out. But I thought, I still thought that maybe his cursed, his cursed friends would stick around, would, would obviously. Would, like, be close by in case things went to shit, which they, right. they kind of were. Like, he barely got away, you know? But I think the goal was to get Sukuna out, so things would have to get bad for Yuji to pull out Sukuna. Mm. But he wasn't counting on Nanami showing up, is what happened. So, I mean, thank God for Nanami coming in, but... But see, yeah, again, even, yeah. even more so a reason to bring help. You're because right. No, if yeah. If it's two of us or three of us versus just Yuji, like he's gonna have to bring out Sukuna. Cause right, we when we saw the volcano guy, what was his name? Uh, um, Jogo. Jogo. Yeah, when we saw Jogo fighting Go Gojo, I mean the same thing. He thought he was powerful enough to, you know, wipe the floor with him. And his boys were close by. And his boys, they came. Yeah. He was they, like, oh, he lost. I better go snatch him real quick before you know? he gets killed. I thought that yeah. was gonna happen in this one too, but. Mahito is the younger, the youngest one, right? Mm. They're all like super old curses from oh. like, from this, I guess the start of humanity or whatever. Like they've had time to, to amass energy. Oh, Mahito's okay. young, hence why he's still experimenting with his abilities. And this was the first time I think he ever did his domain expansion. Right. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. It's kind of like a sink or swim situation. They're like, you're kind of on your own, like make sure you can even hang with us, you know, if you're strong enough. If you can hang with the big boys, yeah. yeah. But you're right, I mean, I would think this is a pretty big part of the plan, you know, we're trying to get Sukuna out for a reason. Um, so yeah, I would think you would want to have help considering you saw how that fight with Jogo went, you know? All right, guys, what a crazy episode. We can't wait to get into the next one. So if you want to catch that with us and all the other shows we're watching, you know what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe because it definitely helps us out. Follow our Instagram for some extra content from us. And real quick, we did want to make a shout out to our newest Patreon supporters, Logan, Anthony, Benjamin, and Lou. You guys are the greatest along with all of our other supporters. Now, before we go, we did want to announce another round of voting for our bonus movie reaction on our Patreon. The movie choices are Tim Burton's Batman, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. We've actually never seen any of these movies before, so we're really excited to see what you guys pick. Now, our last Patreon movie was Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. We had a blast watching the movie, and it will be exclusively on our Patreon for the rest of this month. So if you'd like to support the channel, get an extra movie reaction, and vote on our next one, we'll leave a link for our Patreon down below. But as always, you guys are the greatest, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye.